I am an uh, animator and a media artist. I have a background in drawing and painting. I actually went to Portland State. Uh, and then uh, through a series of, I don't know, draw events, whatever, I came to, I think, what was my calling in a night class at the Northwest Film Center. And that was doing ex uh, animation, experimental animation with Roger Kukas. Took a night class, totally changed my life, made everything that I'd done before, all the drawings and stuff, seem like just one frame in a sequence that needed to be played out. So that's where I come from. I went on uh, after a while of poking around um, and doing a lot of other things to get my MFA at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago and that was again in experimental filmmaking. I didn't find that I fit exactly anywhere, but um, started making short films uh, because I had no technical knowledge and because I thought it'd be interesting to do because no one had done it. I was, or done much of it was draw on film. So my first five films were made by drawing directly on clear film leader uh, and, uh, and then the story, story went on. This is the piece I'm going to talk about, and there's another piece over there called Cabin Liner that we're going to get up and move to in about 15 or 20 minutes. I am a time-based artist. It's like I'm wired to deal with sequences, and I think that this object is meant to move. It's that idea of orchestrating the temporal and the spatial that ignites my mind. It's the little movies that then get transposed out into multiple screens that kind of sort of lights me up. And I think that this, that is in some way at the heart of this work too.